I bet you, if I pull on this, it will come apart like that. Welcome. So I've got quite a bit of experience with gimbals and especially the Hall Effect gimbals going in the Tyrannus X Lite, X9 and X7. Every single one I've had gimbals go bad and sometimes multiple. Recently, attending to a bad one in the X Lite, um, I found out something quite um, revealing and it seems to translate to the other gimbals as well. So this might save you having to buy a new gimbal for any of your Tyrannus and getting your existing one back in order. The problem, usually it's the right stick that goes bad, but I've had it on the left stick, but you'll be moving it and you'll get an intermittent twitch or it starts manifesting as that. Um, and it will get worse over time or more frequent. So say you're pitching forward, you'll get a aileron input twitch um, and it can be very unnerving. I'll overlay what happened and drew me to this new gimbal that started going bad, but here's the problem. NFG, no F good. This is an X9 one. I couldn't find the X7 one, but I know it's around somewhere, but anyway. This is pitch and roll, uh, right stick, uh, that started going bad. And if you notice, look, the gimbal that was problematic is the one that moves. Obviously from factory you get some goop on air, but these wires aren't exactly great silicone. They're quite rigid, unlike the x lights. These are silicone wires, but they're a lot smaller gauge than the X9. So they exhibit the exact same problem. Might be kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but you see where these wires are laid over the moulding of where the Hall Effect sensor sits, that fatigues the cable. One of the reasons why I was so happy to get hold of a Tango, because all of this is rigid and it's just the um, magnet that moves in the gimbal. But the most telling one will be this x light look. So again, this was the pitch and roll stick and it's the sensor that's on the gimbal that moves. If you look there, you can see how tight the wire is to the tension bar. Once this is all wired in and stuff, there's a lot less movement in this wire. So I'm going to open this up and pull it apart and you should see the problem. So, well, there you go, look. These wires just sit over the back of a board. You can already see this, but one thing, these joints come apart, but more importantly, where this sits in this channel here, look at what happens to the cables. Can you see that? That's where the stress is every time you move your gimbal you are crimping that and tugging on it so what i noticed with the last one i bet you if i pull on this it will come apart like that and through god's grace that stays together and provides a signal until it gets so bad that the wire inside here look Let's see how far this goes back. Look, see how frayed that is? That is frayed over, what, two or three millimetres? So, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's happening in the voltage carrying cables. The blue one and the yellow are the signal, and this provides uh, voltage and ground. So I'm going to be a little more ginger with this and see, there you go, look. That's come straight apart. Uh, the red one's still got all its structure there. So again, what I'll do, look, I can pull that with all my might and that's not coming apart. <sighs> well, there you go. That's how much force I was putting into holding the cable. So, all you need to do, any old 
half decent wire that you've got left over in a flight controller will replace this. I put longer ones in and I strain relieved it away quite a bit better. Um, works flawlessly um, in fact. This figure here it's on 2.3 but to a roll stick not getting any intermittent on it so that was a fix on that. That's the x light M12 gimbals. Should we have a look and see if one of these is um got the same sort of behaviour? Okay, this um this X9 one doesn't seem as bad, but it's certainly got the fatigue on the cable. So anyway, I've gone through probably a hundred quid worth of gimbals unnecessarily. If someone had pointed this out to me, um, but you only stumble across these things when you're looking for them, don't you? So I hope this saved you some money. I know it might have been a bit of a long drawn out video. I'll try and trim it down, but I do love free sky, but like I said, I've gone to Tango for important quads. Anyway, always happy to answer questions. Take care. See you later. Yeah, fellow. Hey.